RASDIS tutorial or how to use RASDIS remote desktop. Hello and welcome to our channel WebWiz. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use RASDIS remote desktop. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is open your browser and in the search bar of Google, kindly enter RASDIS. And after that, just proceed by clicking the first link that come up. Or alternatively, you can simply click the link on the description below, in which you will be directed on this page, and it will show you the details about this platform. And if you don't know RASDES, it is an open source remote desktop software that allows users to access and control computers and other devices remotely. And aside from that, RASDES can function as both client and a server, making it easy to use both on the main PC and the remote machine, in which it is an easy-to-use software that does not require much configuration to get started. And below here, it will show you that RustDesk can access anytime, anywhere, or any device. Since RustDesk is a full-featured remote desktop application that supports multiple platforms such as Windows, Mac, Linux, iOS, Android, and even Web. And aside from that, using this platform, you can take full control of your data and easily build your own. It also provides a P2P connection end-to-end -end encrypted. And aside from that, it says here that on Windows, it can be installed and run by non-administrators and privileges that can be elevated locally or remotely as needed. So basically, RustDesk works by establishing a secure end-to-end -end encrypted connection between the client and the server in which it allows users to remotely access and control multiple operating systems, transfer files, and chat. In addition, RustDesk can function without additional tools like VPNs or port forwardings, even behind firewalls or NATs. Since the software is lightweight and does not require administrative privileges or installation for Windows, and users can easily set up a RustDesk self-hosted solution on their infrastructure. And aside from that, if you scroll down below here, it will show you other details, including the document, technical support, version release, frequently asked question, pricing, about us, job offers, open source, roadmap, and even the web page. And if you click on about us option, from here it will show you the mission of this platform, the core values, and even the core team that also develop this kind of platform. And now, to access this platform, they also offer a variety of pricing plan that you can avail by clicking this pricing option on the top panel. From here, it will show you some of the plan, including the free version, the personal version plan, and commercial version plan. And below here, it will show you the corresponding prices and list of benefits on each plan, such as for personal version amounting to $9.90 US dollars per month, while $19.90 for commercial versions per month. However, you could also customize your benefits or the feature that you want to be included or buy in this plan. In which if you scroll down below here, it will show you the customized plan and you can adjust the number of authorized users and also the number of managed devices. In which the more benefits you add is also the more the amount of the bill that you need to pay every month. Now going back to this page, from here, you could also navigate some of the options on the top panel and by simply clicking on Docs on the top panel, you will be directed on this page, in which from here it will show you the RASDES documentation, and you will see on the left side panel some of the details, including the RASDES client, cell phones, development, technical support, video tutorials, and many more. And aside from that, from here, it will show you the overview of RASDES, and below are some of the features that you could also experience by simply using this platform. So basically, RustDesk documentation page provides information on various aspects of the software including installation, development, and self-hosted solutions. And you will see here some of the content available on the documentation page in which it serves as a comprehensive resource for users and developers looking to understand and utilize the features and capabilities of this software. Now going back to this page, if you want to know some of the frequently asked questions, can you click this FAQ option on the footer section, in which upon clicking on it, you will be directed on this page, in which you will see here some of the questions that are frequently asked, 
such as how does Rust this work? And below you will see the corresponding answers. And by simply clicking this link, you will be directed on this page, in which below it will show you the diagram explaining of how the Rust this work, in which it consists of client A, signaling server, client B, and aside from that, from here, it will also show you a diagram explaining the rendezvous protocol to help to find each other by the client computer and the remote computer. Now going back to this page, you will also see here some of the questions including, can I host my own Rust server? And below, it will show you the corresponding answers. And now, if you're wondering, how can you download Rust server? By simply clicking this link right here, it will show you the step-by-step -step process. Or alternatively, if you go back to this homepage of rustdesk.com, just click this button that says download app and you will be directed on this page. And below here, it will show you a warning note since some of these platforms are also being used in scamming people around the world. Now moving on on how to download Rustdesk server, below the warning note, it will show you the link to Windows, Mac, Android, and also below the assets, you will see here some of the file that you can download the Rustdesk using your mobile phone. And now, if you're using a Windows devices to download the Rustdesk server, kind of click this Windows hyperlink text in which upon clicking on it, it will show you that the file has now been downloaded and you can see the progress on the top right corner of your browser if you're using a Chrome Azure browser. And after downloading, all you need to do is to kind of click on it and start installing the application of Rastus server. And aside from that, going back to this page, to show you how the Rastus work, below here it will show you some of the picture or screenshot that you can see after opening the Rastus or installing the Rastus server. In which from here, you will see on the left side panel, the ID and even the password. And aside from that, you will see on the right side panel, the control remote desktop and from there, to control a specific kind of devices, all you need to do is to enter the computer's ID or the desktop of your client that you want to control. And after that, just proceed by clicking the connect button to proceed. And also, if the remote computer is on the same local network, you can use its local IP address for password connection or otherwise you can use the public IP address or domain name. While the last part is you can control the remote computer once the connection is established. You can now start controlling the remote computer as if you are sitting in front of it. And you can use the mouse and keyboard to navigate and interact with the remote desktop. So basically, all you need to do to use this Rust desk is firstly by downloading and installing this app. And after that, you can now start setting up the Rust desk remote desktop server. Followed by the next step, which is configure the Rust desk client by opening the Rust desk client on your computer. And after that, connect to our remote computer by entering the desktop ID. And for the last step, you can now start controlling the remote computer. Since RustDesk provides a secure, fast, and simple remote desktop solution, making it easy to access and control computers and devices from anywhere. So that is just how you can use RustDesk remote desktop. Thank you.